last Monday, but I'm also doing my favorite products of 2020. So if you guys like to see my favorite products and what I've loved from this year, please stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Allie, nice to meet you. Thanks for everyone being here and spending some time with me. I'm super excited. This is my first mask Monday I am going to be doing. So, the mask I'm going to be using today is from Joy. Joy gave this to me for Christmas. Joy keeps you on your toes. And it's Hip Dot X SpongeBob Patrick Spa Day. And I'm super excited to try this out. So let me open it. And I'll read the back to you guys as well. Ooh, slimy. Oh no, it looks like Patrick. <laughs> So I'm gonna look like Patrick today, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Oh my God, I love this. Joy, you're so funny. Joy's the best. Okay. Oh my God, guys, I'm Patrick. <laughs> oh my God, I'm Patrick. It's okay, I look good. I love it, Joy, awesome. All right, so let's talk about the sheet mask. Conditions and nourish face with seaweed and hyaluronic acid. No need to dive down to bikini bottom to hydrate and refresh your face when you can relax with these seaweed extract face masks with hyaluronic acid featuring SpongeBob and Patrick. They are cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, talc-free, and mineral oil-free. Oh, how awesome. So this is a new sheet mask, I believe, from this year, too. I might be wrong, but I've never used it. So I've never used a hip dot sheet mask either. Super cool. So guys, I have to tell you my favorite product from 2020. And I have a lot, so it might be over 20. And what I'll do is I'll put the retail value down in the description um, for all these products or like down below. So the first thing I'm gonna show to you guys is my new hair skin line. And here's the conditioner and shampoo. And it's from Nature Lab Tokyo. And I also love the leave in repair treatment. So you wash your hair, condition it, and then you put this in and this shampoo and conditioner, this whole system has really helped hydrate my hair. It's really making my hair healthy. I just absolutely love it. So the next thing that came into my life this year was sponge jellies. Now here's a new one, and this is my favorite scent so far, is the jasmine, night jasmine. And that's what it looks like. These are so great, they have 14 plus washes in them. So I absolutely love this, I love the smell of it. I love, I love sponge jellies, love them. Now, I'm gonna talk more about my hair. This is a product from Christopher Robin. And it's called Blonde Pure Baby Blonde. This is made in Paris, so a lot of the writing is in French. So what it does is when my hair is dyed or if I feel like putting it in, it gives my hair a purple tint that makes it kind of a silver. And I, I love it. I'll show it to you guys if I can open it. My hands are wet. Back to your baby blonde, it's called. And it's this really nice purple stuff. And um, it just, I'm gonna use it when I go to my hairdresser uh, Wednesday. I'm getting my hair done. And we're going, I mean, white silver. And I'm gonna have her place some of this in. Unless she has a silver toner. So one of my favorite items um, that Perlis came out with this year is their watermelon system. We have the energizing two minute polish and peel. And then we have the watermelon and charcoal purifying cleanser. 
So Perlise is one of my favorite K-Beauty brands. I have a lot of their, their skincare, a lot of it. I even have some of their makeup. I love their BB cream. I should have brought that out. So um, Perlise is one of my favorites, guys. If you don't or have never used Perlise, look into them. I love K-Beauty and I love Perlise. Sorry guys, my mask is like going everywhere. Here, we'll do that. So, my new system I'm using for my, my skincare right now, I'm using Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. So here's the cleanser and here's the exfoliator. I'm getting the primer and then I'm gonna get some other products from him too. I love Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt has been doing this stuff for over 25 years and I'm telling you, my pores are minimizing. They are shrinking, which is so nice to have a product that actually is working, you know? Then one of my favorite companies as well for skincare is Skin & Company Roma, which is Italian uh, products. And this is their cleansing oil. And this is my go-to to get my makeup off my face. It's my go-to. I always have a backup. I love it. it uh, cruelty free um, made in Italy everything I use really is cruelty free I think everything I use is cruelty free but this is the best oil I swear for removing makeup and then oh I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this this is called black and this is teeth whitening charcoal powder and this stuff is amazing it's charcoal powder you dip your brush in it, your toothbrush, and you put it all over your teeth and you brush it like you're brushing your teeth and it really whitens your teeth. Give it a week and you'll see like a huge difference. And then I have my bottle, a Lumify. Lumify is one of my favorite products because I have dry eye syndrome and I have some other eye conditions, but this stuff lubricates my eyes and it, it makes your eyes white. So if you have like bloodshot eyes, say goodbye love that product what else okay let me talk about what I use at nighttime now right now one of my products to go to is my Sunday Riley a plus high dose retinol serum I use this at night it's a great product I use Milan and Gotaz revitalizing eye gel which I love I use this and then by Glow Recipe, the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. It's, these are my favorite products to use and this is what I use at nighttime. One of my favorite go-tos if my skin is dry or I'm thinking it's feeling real dry, I love First Aid Beauty. I think their products are amazing and this is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. This stuff is so good, so good. I highly recommend it if you have dry skin it's so good and I think it's for all skin types too I think everything I use is for all skin types I'm pretty sure now one of my must-haves and I have a backup too is by Han Ali and it's a lip treatment and I received this I believe in BoxyCharm or Ipsy and I've been using it now for over a year um, and it's my favorite go to for my lips if my lips are chapped or I use it every morning I use it at nighttime before I go to bed it's one of my favorites so let's jump into makeup 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 I love makeup um this year I really have been collecting so a lot of palettes that have come out like in the past are new to me so if you see palettes that like came out a couple years ago sorry but they're new to me one of my favorite things are my beauty blenders, and these are special. Um, I'm trying to think, they're from Real Techniques, but I think they're from Nikki something. I'll put the information down below. But these are my favorite beauty blenders. I love the original beauty blender, but these are amazing. So you have your face, and then you have your littler one for your eyes. But I have the cutest, 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 cutest little sponge set. 
And this is a limited edition by Micro Mini Blunden Sponges. I've never used it, but this is for correction. I don't know if you guys can see how stinking cute these little guys are. And if you see on the side, it says what is, you know, which one to use for whatever you're trying to correct. So they're brand new. I've never used them, but I love them. They're so cute. So next, I have my favorite primers. This year, I got Too Faced Hangover RX as a Christmas gift, and I'm in love with it. I love it. It's an amazing primer, and so is Illamasqua. Illamasqua is a gel primer. If I can open it. <laughs> so... This is what Illamasqua looks like on the inside, guys. It's almost empty. I have a backup. It's a jelly primer. And I think it works really good. I got that from Ipsy. I've gotten some really good makeup from BoxyCharm and Ipsy this year. Some great brands. Now, one of my favorite setting sprays is Jeffree Star's um, Strawberry Berry. Or Starberry, excuse me setting sprays this is one of my favorite setting sprays and it sucks that you know you can't buy it from morphe anymore but i'm going to try to get my hands on a few more joy gave this to me for christmas i was so appreciative because it's hard to find these people are charging like a macari and poshmark like 20 bucks for those now one of my go-to's and i love is my Ofra Madison Miller palette. Now this palette has blush and two highlighters and as you guys can see I am hitting pan but this is one of my favorite go-to's for blush and highlight. I have been using this all year long. Now we have Gimme Brow by Benefit Cosmetic. Benefit Cosmetic is amazing i bought the little gimme brow just to try it out i like to buy samples before i buy you know the original like big size to save money and to see if i really like it and i love it it's the perfect color for my eyebrows and then i got the 24 hour brow setter so if i decided to use that or i also like my brow bar quite a bit um if I decide to use powder you know the setting 24 hour brow setting by benefit cosmetics is perfect I'm gonna take this off guys it's not staying on too well no so one of my favorite eye primers is by NARS I've used the whole thing so I'm gonna re purchase it but here it is as you can see it's a little dirty it's been loved but this is my favorite eye primer now my favorite mascara that I got this year it was it was so hard it was a toss-up because I love Kevin the Kwan's the expert mascara but my favorite this year is hot of beauty's legit lashes this mascara is so amazing. It makes your eyelashes, phew. They're just, it's amazing, guys. You gotta try it out if you haven't. Now, for contour, I love my Too Faced Co Cocoa Contour Palette. I love Too Faced. It smells like chocolate. It's, their makeup smells so good. And they're so bougie. I love their packaging. Too Faced rocks. Now, one of my other favorite things that came out, like highlighters we're gonna talk, for instance. This is a blush, but it's a highlighter, and it's from Hank and & Henry. And if you look at the color on the bottom, what you do is you stick your brush in there, and it's such an amazing color. Let's see if I can do it. I don't think I can do it with my nails, guys. There it is, it's beautiful. You can use it as a blush highlighter. That's what I use it for. 
Now, my other favorite highlighter, highlighter that you can purchase right in any drugstore is by Wet n Wild. And this one is called Blossom Glow. Now, I got this as a Christmas gift from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. But I also received one in a giveaway a long time ago from She Crafty, and I fell in love with it. It's an excellent highlighter, and it's very inexpensive. All right, so let's see where we're at. I got confused, John walked in. Sorry about that. All right, I know I'm gonna go over 20 products, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I love from 2020. I'm just gonna show you what I love. Now, this is the treatment oil I use on my face. I normally use it every day because I use my favorite tools. I have facial tools. I love this. This is from OC. I have a face wash by them. But this, Jade, yeah. You can contour your face. That's really what this is for. I love it. And then I have this um, Solana and it vibrates and it helps your skin waken up and then I have this really cool ice roller so you put it underneath your eye if you got puffy eyes this eye is always puffy always not this one always it's this one so then my favorite cream of all time or lotion whatever you want to call is Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C rich hydration cream this is my favorite cream of all time my favorite I love Sunday Riley just love them this year I tried out a bunch of different new foundations and stuff but I found a foundation that I personally love I know it's a little too late for my skin right now it's because I still have my summer tan it's not going away I'm normally as white as a ghost is Huda Beauty. I love Huda Beauty's foundation. This is an Angel Food 110 or 1110N. And then I have, you know, I have the primer, I have the concealer, I have a lot of her products. But for makeup wise, right now I am using Huda Beauty foundation. And it is, it's medium coverage, I'd say. So, if we're gonna talk about eyelashes this year, Glamlight, all the foodie boxes I got from Glamlight, they have the most glam eyelashes. I've gotten some amazing lashes too um, from other companies, like Lily Lashes and stuff. But Glamlight, if you look at their lashes, they're just always so awesome. And they always come in a cute little package. These ones are called Donut Lashes. All right, so let's talk about blush. I finally, 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 finally got this blush palette and it's Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush. I finally got my hands on it. It took like a year to get my hands on it. I was waiting for the email when it was in stock, but look at those colors, guys. It's a great blush palette. You have such a variety to choose from and I love it. And then we have, let's go on to eyeshadow palettes. Now, Ofra, I've always just used their highlighters. So I decided to get their eyeshadow, one of their eyeshadow kits, and it's their signature palette, Sympathy. Symphony, absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette, it's got a nice little mirror, but the colors are just great. Juvia's Place is a new company that I jumped into. They're not a new company, but they're a new company for me. Now, Juvia's Place has amazing eyeshadows, guys. So pigmented, but my favorite palette from what I bought this year around Christmas time, is before Christmas, but is the Berries by Juvia. I love this palette. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite go-tos. Now we have Glam Light. Who doesn't love Glam Light? You have to love Glam Light. They're just so cute. So when they came out with the Glam Light 
chocolate donut. I was so excited because it's a neutral palette. And if you look, I, I have used it. I love it. it. The neutrals and the shimmers, the highlight, everything about this palette is just, it's wonderful. I love it. Now, Hank and Henry came out with, Henry came out with um, a walk in the garden palette set and I love them. It's the moths, the berries, and then the nudes. So let me show them to you guys. I love Hank and Henry. He is one of my favorite makeup artists of all time. I wish these were signed. I have two palettes that are signed by him from getting the mystery boxes. I can't wait until he has his next mystery box. I was gonna buy the one with the brushes, but I, I didn't, I don't know why. Here's the berries. I love Henry. I love his lives. He's so funny. The Night Owl crew. And here's the mobs, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Henry does an amazing job with his makeup. Now, Huda, or Huda Beauty is new to me, like I told you guys. So I got a few of their eyeshadow palettes and I love this one. I love both of them I got. And her formula is amazing. Absolutely great. And this one is the Nudes Rich um, Obsessions. And look at that. That palette makes so many amazing looks. I love it. It's a great Nudes palette nice you know rich colors that's why they call it rich <laughs> so let's talk about ColourPop I love ColourPop I am getting quite the collection of ColourPop but I'll show you the two one of my favorite palettes I got this year was the Sailor Moon collaboration I love Sailor Moon and the colors and everything about this palette is just so great I love that it's so 90s and there's the colors now you can make a beautiful look with this palette it just reminds me so much of Sailor Moon when I put it on it I want to watch the cartoon <laughs> now I don't know if everybody knows about Peachy Queen Peachy Queen has her own line of eyeshadows and I love Peachy Queen I have a bunch of her palettes but my favorite palette from her is the Kush Queen. I got this the day it came out. I had to get it and as you can see it's marijuana inspired. I believe it has CBD in it and they're cruelty free. Everything I use I believe is cruelty free guys and look at the size of those pans. Absolutely amazing colors, pigmented. I mean, your eyes will get like um, stained if you don't know how to apply eyeshadow right. Your eyes will get stained with some of her colors. I like Peachy Queen. Um, she has so many different palettes. Check them out, guys. They're they're pretty inexpensive. She has sales all the time. And then my next. I had to get was from Lunar Beauty and that's the Eternal Eclipse. I love Manny MUA and I finally decided that I was gonna buy some of his makeup. It took me a long time to get it but I finally got some. Look at the packaging. That's Rise Erased. And there we go. Gorgeous. Now this palette you can go from day to night. That's what I love about this palette so much. That Manny's formula is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I, I have fallen in love and now I want all of his palettes. So I have a wish list of palettes. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. So let's talk about Mr. Jeffree Star. 
Jeffree Star. I love Jeffree Star. Um, I got a few of his palettes this year. And the first one I'm gonna show you is Cremated. I love this palette. A lot of people didn't like this palette. But when I was a child, younger, when I was you know, a teenager, I was very gothic. And I know the dark looks and I love making them. And I personally love this palette. It's got a nice size mirror. Ooh, that. It irritated my skin a little bit, that mask. Oops. So the next palette from Jeffree Star that I got this year also, which I think everybody needs to have in their makeup collection, is Jawbreaker. I think everybody should have Jawbreaker in their collection. Jawbreaker is a fun, colorful palette. Look at that. It's so much fun. And the colors are just buildable. They're just so bold and beautiful. I love Jeffree Star's makeup. I love it. <laughs> I did not get one of his mystery boxes though. I tried to, and they were out of a small, like that on the Supreme box, the biggest one. So I said, forget about it. And then we have Blood Money, which if you look, mine doesn't open properly. Like, it don't open properly. So you have to press the button over and then open it. But this palette is to die for. Packaging everything. Jeffree Star is a pure genius and I just adore him and his makeup. Let's talk about lippies. I love lippies. I have such a big lipstick collection, lip glosses, you name it, I love it. Now, I'm gonna show you, so far, this is my Glam Light collection of lip glosses. And I love every single one of them. Glam Light has amazing lip glosses, mattes, everything their lip products are just phenomenal look at that red i got that for christmas got your pink which sparkles got a glitter some regular i think it's margarita and then here's some mattes and this one look at that chocolate brown i just love it and then for lipsticks i got the um I think it's the nude collection. I'm pretty sure if not the, no, it's the Moths collection. I got all their lipsticks. Oops. I got all their lipsticks and I love every single one of them. But my favorite out of the whole, I, I don't have a favorite actually. Here's this one. That is Kiwi. I love Kiwi. I'll swatch it for you guys. See why I love them? And the lipsticks stay on and they just don't go nowhere. They're wonderful. Um, one of my go-to lipsticks is by NARS and it's, what is it, Stand Up? Get Up Stand Up. It's one of my favorites. It's a, it's a bold color. I've been using it forever. I love it. So that's what I got for lippies. Oh, I do love um, So Juicy by um, ColourPop. This makes your lips tingle. It's the plumping one. It doesn't plump my lips out any bigger than what they are, but it definitely does give you that sensation. And I love that sensation. All right, guys. So there's just a few more things that I really enjoyed from 2020. And I love Raw Beauty Christie's The Forest Sight. I have not used this yet, but I love the palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love Raw Beauty Christie. She's a sweetheart. Very talented girl. And look at that. Look at the, the packaging. It's so cute. This whole collection I want the whole collection but every time I go to buy it the, 
I'm so lucky I got my hands on the palette, guys, to be honest. I'm very blessed that I got my hands on the palette. Then there's one more thing from 2020 that I fell in love with, and it's a subscription box, and it's called Scentbox. Now, right now, I have Julia has a gun, anyway, I think it's called, in here, and it, oh, it smells so good. And every month, you get to pick if you want you can go through all their perfumes and colognes and pick which one you want. And if you want more than one, it's like $10 more. So I'm going to do that so I can build up my perfume collection again. I love smelling good. It's a big thing of mine. I'm a freak about smelling good. So that was my favorite stuff from 2020 and my first Mask Monday, guys. So I'm super excited about that. And I wanted to tell you guys also... Um, I want to thank everyone of you that is subscribed to my channel. Thank you. We finally are at the halfway point. We are at 510, I believe. And very soon, I'm going to be having a giveaway, a big giveaway. Not not huge, but a decent sized giveaway because 500 is a big deal to me. So I'm super excited about that, guys. So I will have a video about that coming up soon. I'm trying to decide what I want to get for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like the same things I like. And I can't wait to see everyone else's video. This is a really fun collaboration. Thank you, Bobby, for adding me. And I, I just hope you guys like it. So if you like this video, can you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram at Ellie's Magical Insights. I'll see you guys later. Bye.